I want to address the controversy before I start this video. Yes, it is true. I have indeed been including useful information in these videos. I know, I know, I'm, I'm so sorry. But in my defense, I never viewed these videos as only useless information. I feel like a more accurate title for these videos would be 10 minutes of mostly useless, but sometimes useful yet all interesting COD Zombies information. Yeah, that's a terrible title. I'm sticking with the one I got. In Shadows of Evil, the Pack-a-Punch Bloodhound doesn't cock back when you shoot it. On Mob of the Dead, if you cook a grenade on the plane, you will take no damage from it. In Ancient Evil, the box will always move to the underworld when you first travel there. Trip Mines are in the box in Derizendrak and Revelations. I guess they didn't learn their lesson the first time. Danger Closest allows you to take no damage from the Panzer's Shock Charge on Derizendrak. In Tagged or Toten, if you use anywhere but here, as soon as you start the boss fight, you will be launched from wherever you teleport to, back to the back of the boat. Or I guess it'd be the front of the boat, technically. Exo Zombies is the first Zombies mode to have a 3 hit down. In the Zombies Chronicles remaster of Erupt, you can see a light shining through the windows in the spawn room. It's only when you're looking through the windows here as if you shoot out a window, the light will go away. Not only that, but in certain windows, you can see the light shining through the building, which is pretty weird. Speaking of Uruk, on the Juggernaug side of the spawn room, if you interact with the dentist chair here, you will get some pretty creepy noises. On BO3 Origins, if you pair the MG-08 with firing on all cylinders and stamina up, you can traverse the map extremely fast. This is what the BO3 Boomhilda should have been. You know, I still don't understand why they nerfed it in Chronicles. In Zetsubo no Shima, if you melee the Skull Stand, it'll play the same sound it plays when you knife a zombie. At the end of Moon's Easter Egg, the Gersh device that you throw by the Samantha Says monitors will never go away. In Alpha Omega, when a Jolting Jack climbs to another level, they will actually stand for a second before going back to a crawler. If you grab another Gobblegum while you have Armamental Accomplishment, you will chew the Gobblegum faster. In the World of War version of Nocturne and Toten, the game says that the Thompson costs 1500 points, but it actually only costs 1200 points. In Black Ops 3 Origins, you can find a zombie outside of the map with a bottle of Merlot from 1997. Now, this wouldn't be a big deal, except Origins takes place in 1918, almost a full 80 years earlier, which means either this man is a time traveler, or this is just an oversight from Treyarch. Probably the latter. In the Zombies in Spaceland intro, AJ is wearing a Letterman jacket. This jacket says IW on it, of course being an easter egg for Infinity Ward. In Mauer de Toten's easter egg, there's a step where Klaus stops a train and you need to get on the train and grab a few items. During this step, Klaus stresses that he cannot hold the train for long, so you probably get off it quickly every time. But have you ever wondered what happens if you don't get off the train? Well, if you don't get off the train, then Klaus will stop holding it and you will go into the Dark Aether and be teleported back to the train tracks. Well, that's really anticlimactic. When Gerard Kirby launched on Xbox, there was a pretty funny glitch that would happen. Randomly when playing, you could have this happen in your game. I remember everyone thinking this was an easter egg, but it turns out it was just a visual glitch. A visual glitch that shows you the portal that Primus used to get to Garad. And while I'm talking about the Garad intro, you can see Peter McCain falling as well. This is really useless unless you're Milo or something. What? What? No! What? BO3 Zombies was the first game you could see your feet. In Zetsubo no Shima, the seeds you place down the water have an obnoxiously big hitbox. Like seriously, why is it so big? Kino der Toten and 5 have the same game over song. <laughs> On Valentine's Day in 2016, Please take me back. Treyarch made a secret update to zombies that I didn't even remember happening until researching this video. Treyarch added black hearts that would float out of the zombies when you killed them. To get this, you had to go in nightmares mode and kill a zombie, and then you'd have this effect in any zombies map. Like I said, not even I remembered this, so if you knew about this, leave a comment down below. In Shadows of Evil, if you pull out the non-upgraded sword and hold down the slash button and spam the slam button, you can glitch out the sword and do this. Now this does kill zombies, it's not a visual glitch or anything like that, but if I'm gonna be honest, this, this is really hurting my eyes, so 
Let's move on to the next one. When Black Ops 4 Zombies launched, there was a really loud sound that would play every single time you got a headshot. Now thankfully, Treyarch replaced this sound with a much better one that doesn't destroy your eardrums. Literally every Zombies player in existence knows this. If you don't, leave. I'm just joking, please don't. But it's still useless information nonetheless. In Mob of the Dead, if you throw your House Retriever behind you while you're flying to the bridge, it won't return to you until you land, and it'll just keep flying behind you. Around the map in Alpha Omega, you can find members of Broken Arrow bickering with sticky notes. These conversations are pretty funny, and if you ever have time to kill, I recommend reading these in theater mode because a few of them will get a good laugh out of you. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because Treyarch paid attention to a very small detail here. You might be wondering why they're using tape to hold up their sticky notes. Well, they're using tape because the invention of an adhesive strip on the back of a note wasn't invented until 1974, and the Broken Arrow outbreak happened in 1968, so naturally, they used tape to hold their notes because sticky notes weren't a thing yet. Not only did Treyarch pay attention to this detail, but they also made a joke about it. In a cabinet near the lounge, you could see someone suggesting adding an adhesive strip to the back of a note, and someone replied saying, that's a stupid idea. Poor guy had a million dollar idea and he just got clowned on for it. What a shame. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter either way because... Yeah. In Horizon Drag, you can teleport back in time for the Easter egg from the rocket test and it'll work. The Panzer will be ready for you on the other side though, so watch out for that. Additionally, you can input the save code using the machine at the rocket test and it'll actually work. In BO3 Zombies, there's actually some instances where the crew refers to what they said in older maps. For example, Dempsey says this on the giant when he's eating a gobble gum. My mom always told me not to talk while chewing. <laughs> She'd slap me in the mouth right now. And then he says this on Revelations. My mom always told me not to talk while chewing. She'd forgive me this time. And one more that I know of. Rick Toffin says this when he gets a bad weapon from the box on Garage Groovy. Oh, you can just fuck off, box. And on Revelations, he feels remorse. Oh, you can just fudge off, box. I'm sorry I swore at you before. I didn't mean it. In Christmas of 2020, Cold War Zombies released a Christmas mode called Jingle Hells. All this mode was was a Christmas reskin of D-Machine, where the Plague Hounds were Reindeer and the Megaton was Santa. I hope COD 2024 does do more holiday themed events like this, because it is pretty cool, even if it's as simple as adding a hat to a boss enemy. In Shadows of Evil, if the tram is at Canals, you can have your friend call it from Waterfront or Footlight, and if you watch the tram as it's leaving, it'll glitch out a little bit. Speaking of the tram, you can go in beast mode at Footlight and climb on top of the tram. Now, unfortunately, you can't ride the tram for long because when it leaves the playable area, you'll hit an invisible barrier and be kicked off of it, but it is pretty cool nonetheless. In Derizon Drag, you can sometimes get a zombie to spawn with your drop in the tram. The Death Machine was really bad in BO3 when it first came out. When it released with the Ryzen Drac, it originally pulled out much slower than it does now. Like, I seriously think that if this was still in the game, then the Death Machine would be just about as bad as the BO1 version. But thankfully, they sped up the animation much faster, and now it's almost instantaneous. Speaking of the Death Machine, when it released, it also had an ammo counter. Now, despite what you may be thinking, the Death Machine still had infinite ammo. Even when the ammo counter hit zero, you could still use it. I have no clue why the ammo counter was even added to begin with. Unless the Death Machine was ported from Black Ops 2, and that's why it has an ammo counter. I don't know. In Cold War Zombies, as many people know, there is a bunny easter egg on every single Cold War Zombies map to get a free loot crate. Well, on Mauer's bunny easter egg, there is a cool easter egg for us 5 Voyage fans out there. After you beat all three phases and you grab your loot crate, you can hear the instrumental for Right Where We Belong playing. This is the song that plays at the very beginning of Voyage's intro cutscene. Many people know about Michael Rooker shooting five shots out of a double-barreled shotgun in the Call of the Dead intro, but there is actually another instance of this happening. In the trailer for Shangri-La, you can see Dempsey shooting three shots out of the Olympia. It's very quick and it's very easy to miss, and to be honest, I wouldn't even know about this if it wasn't for Lucario Project pointing this out in one of his videos. Every perk in D-Machine has two perk jingles. It of course has the normal one, and 
and then there's the version that plays in the dark ether. Speaking of the dark ether, if you kill a zombie while in the dark ether, you will see the zombies fly in the air. This is because the dark ether has the same effects as Newtonian negation does from Block Ops 3 and Block Ops 4. And finally, as you probably know, if you knife Ted enough on transit, he can actually kick you off the bus and say this. Door privileges have been fucking revoked. Treyarch knew that everyone loved Ted and his quotes, so when they added him back in Alpha Omega, they made sure to add a cool callback to his line from Transit. Looks like someone needs to loosen up, relax, have a drink, back the fuck up or suffer the consequences. Hey, asshole, I'm telling you to stop or I'm cutting you off. Looks like somebody's about to reconsider their life choices. Be advised, damaging consolidated Coach Corporation property is punishable by death in 12 of the 53 states. Keep testing me, asshole. Just watch what happens. Lounge privileges have been fucking revoked. And there was your useless information. What was your favorite in this video? Leave a comment down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Click the card on the screen right now to go watch my other useless information videos, or click this card to watch me beat the Blood of the Dead Easter Egg on realistic difficulty. Thank you all so much for watching, and with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.